everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making sweet potato crostini with caramelized onions, bacon, and walnuts. Now this recipe got, came into my attention at a party recently that I went to, and somebody brought it and it just knocked my socks off. So delicious, so savory, you're gonna love this. And I just had to share it with you guys. Now I gotta give credit to the website where we got the recipe. It's littlebitsof.com. I'll leave a link for you in the description of my video so you can check that out. It's very customizable, it's Whole30 compliant, and it's gluten-free if that's important for you. So uh, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. First up, we have our sweet potatoes. I'm using organic, a couple of them here. I've got some bacon. I'm using some uh, Applegate bacon that I, is one of my favorites. Three sweet yellow onions. That's important, get the sweet ones. I have some chopped walnuts, some dates, olive oil, some fresh rosemary, and some salt. So to start our recipe, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna work on the sweet potato part because we need to bake those in the oven and get them crispy so that we have something to put all of our other goodies on. So peel, you can peel your sweet potato. If you're using organic like I am, you can also leave it on if you want. Either way, I like it off personally, so that's why I'm peeling mine. So I'll just peel them all, and then I'm gonna slice these into thin slices. Place your sweet potatoes in a bowl, and then we'll add a little bit of olive oil to coat. And I just use my hands to blend everything, mix everything in. So you're gonna place your sweet potatoes on a baking sheet. I have mine lined with parchment paper. And we're gonna spread these out just so that they're not touching. We want them to roast nicely. So leave a little space between them. And then we're gonna season with just a little bit of salt. Hold your hand up high so that uh, the salt kind of spreads out. You don't get a big clump on one piece. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven, like I said, for about 20, 25 minutes at 425 degrees. And halfway through that cooking time, I'm gonna flip them over. So while the sweet potatoes are cooking in the oven, we're gonna take our onions and prepare them. So just. You know, just cutting off the ends of each onion. We're gonna cut it in half, peel it up, and then slice them into thin slices. So after I sliced the onions, I went ahead and chopped them smaller. Just makes it easier to get them onto the sweet potato crostini. Uh, so you don't have giant pieces. So while our sweet potatoes continue to cook, we're gonna cook up the bacon because we need the bacon grease to cook up the onions. So we're gonna cook the bacon first. So once the bacon's done, just take it out, put it on a plate with paper towel on it so that it can drain. And then we'll cut that up in just a bit. Now you wanna have about two tablespoons of bacon grease left over in your pan, and that's a, I might have a little more than that, but not much. So I'm gonna go ahead, because I have quite a few onions here, and I'm gonna add the onions to the pan. And these are gonna cook about 45 minutes. Nice and slow and low. That's how you get a nice caramelization in your onions. So here are the sweet potatoes that I took out of the oven after about 35 minutes or so. All right, so I've got my onions back there on the stove caramelizing for about 45 minutes. In the meantime, we can chop up our bacon. You wanna chop that up real quick, nice and small. We're gonna do the dates and we're gonna chop up the rosemary. Now, every so often, you need to stop what you're doing here and jump over here, you know, just get over here and give these guys a stir every, you know, two to three minutes or so. I've got this on medium heat, so I wanna pay close attention to it. Once I start seeing things brown up, which it hasn't happened yet, uh, then I'll turn the heat down a little bit because you want to do these low and slow. So chop your bacon up nice and small like this. 
And with the dates, you want to just chop it up nice and small. They're a little sticky, so they're a little harder to chop. Then cut each strip into tiny little pieces until you get it all chopped up real small. So our last thing to prep up is the rosemary. And I'm just going to pull off the petals and chop it up. And then chop the rosemary super, super fine. So our onions are starting to brown up, as you can see. And boy, they've really reduced down, haven't they? So it's getting close. I'm going to go another 10 minutes or so. I want these to caramelize as long as I possibly can. But at this point, I'm going to add the dates to this mixture. Sprinkle them in. Try and spread them around. They're kind of sticky and they clump together. So, And the rosemary. Now we'll just continue sauteing this, like I said, for you know 10 more minutes or so. So here's our onions. They've been on here about 50 minutes. I've been stirring them and everything, and everything looks good. I'm ready to add the last of our ingredients, which is the bacon. And a few of the walnuts. So we'll sprinkle a few of those in. Stir that up so it's nicely combined. Once I get this mixed in, then uh, we're ready to just put this on top of our sweet potatoes and serve it up and enjoy. So now the last thing to do is just place some of this yummy onion and bacon mixture and just place it right on top of the uh, sweet potato. I'd like to just mound it like that and that's it. They're ready to serve. All right, guys, I'm going to try one of these for you and tell you what it tastes like. Guys, the caramelized onion with the bacon and the little bit of dates add some sweetness to it. It's very savory. It is very delicious. I think you guys are going to love it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and uh, share the video with, with whoever you think might enjoy it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, by golly, click the subscribe button, and that way you won't miss a new video every week. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.